That's right, that's how a zombie rolls with a bit of vanilla ice. Hey, what is up everybody and welcome to uh, Plants vs. Zombie Garden Warfare for the PC. Now, uh, I've seen some footage back in the day when they got released for the Xbox One and it looked really fun and I thought this has to be coming to PC at some point and he finally did. Now, there is a new map as well they've got to PC, there's some extra content and all sorts of DLC. But overall, it just looked like a tremendous amount of fun, and I thought, hey, why not get into it and see what's, what's it all about. Now, uh, I've got to say, I am not disappointed one bit. It just looks like fun. It's one of those games that you get to uh, hop in with your friends and just have a bit of fun and just be a zombie, really. That's what you got to be. Uh, there is all sorts of uh, goodies and gadgets uh, that you can unlock and use. Like you see, I've got one, two, and three there. You have your small screen. You have a booster pack thing whatever that's called and you have an RPG which I'm firing now uh, they do take a little bit of time for them to recharge but you get to use them a couple of times during the match and if you end up dying they'll recharge automatically anyway now there is a good amount of modes for you to play there's plenty of game modes from team vanquish which is basically team deathmatch they've just been sort of renamed but once you get into the game you'll understand what's uh, what's required of you to do and there's all sorts of team based objectives as well where I think that's uh, that's pretty fun now every time you level up your character a little bit you get to uh, unlock certain things you unlock new abilities you get skins you get to customize your character I mean at one point I was playing as a plant and there was a guy dressed completely as a plant but he was a zombie and I'm like wait what? what's he doing look at that cactus yes cactuses be tactical weighted in this game because they do have a drone which is for those of you familiar with battlefield uh, you think of this as your mav really it's a mav that shoots people so you have a garlic drone that shoots people and you do have to sort of sit back a little bit and try and make the best of it but overall i just think it's it's a fun little game and you do get to uh, to have quite a bit of fun with it now as luck would have it i do have an extra copy of the game thanks to uh, the guys at ronku they sent me uh, a copy for myself and a copy to give out to one of you guys so yeah, just drop a comment, give it a like, and that'll do for me. And I'll just pick one of you, uh, one of you guys out there who, uh, who's won the game, and why not join in with me and have a bit of fun, as we are. I I don't know what to say. Do I like the zombies better or do I like the plants better? For now, I think that's gonna change. Look at that. He's just tactical weight in there. Pow! <laughs> I'm sort of leaning a little bit towards the zombies because I just think the zombies have like some stupid powers that you get to use, some stupid abilities, and it just it's just fun using them that way. But I think the uh, the addition of the DLCs and more content and more skins and more changes and more everything maps and I mean there's a total of I think there's about eight maps. I haven't checked really all the modes yet, but there is an option there for you to host the game and you get to choose. You get to choose the maps you want to so i just sort of flick through them a little bit and there was about eight uh there is a new map called jewel junction that's been uh, that's been just added to the pc it's exclusive to the pc and it's only gonna be there we go that's the garlic drone the sniper the the cactus sniper nearly got me there now you do have an option of choosing your character each match or each respawn you get to choose your character and i'm using the foot soldier the foot soldier does do a lot of damage really quick but is not as much damage as you'd hope. He only barely does like five or six damage. Now, if you would play as a sniper, which is a cactus, you would do 25, 35 damage or something like that. So you will get to fall in love with one particular character once you play it a little bit. It's not really a competitive shooter as it is, as you'll see people doing stupid things in this game and deploying things and just the, the customization I've seen people use is just stupid. But I think that's what makes the game fun. Uh, when it comes to classes, it's pretty much your four uh, class setup. Your sniper, your assault, your LNG, and the, the uh, tactical man. <laughs> but in this case, it's um, your foot soldier, which I'm obviously I'm playing. You have the scientist, you have engineer, and you also have the all-star, which is basically a support with the LMG. Now when it comes to the plants, you have the pea shooter, which I'm using now, and this is, by the way, this is the new map that they've added in. It's exclusive to the PC for a, for a couple of weeks, I think, or maybe just a week before uh, they get into the Xbox One. You get to use the sunflower, you get to use, obviously, the dirty sniper cactus, and you also be a chomper if you want to, which you can borrow underground and kill people by uh, just emerging underneath them and killing them. 
Now, same thing with the powers here. You can see one, two, or three there. You can uh, press to and become a Gatling gun. You will be still when you're doing that. So uh, you will do quite a lot of damage, but you will be still and you'll be vulnerable to quite a few attacks. Um, number three, you basically go into a frenzy where you go really, really fast. And your first power is the chili bean, which you can drop in. It's basically a frag grenade. It just explodes and uh, pretty much kills everything around it. So okay, well, this is the old star for the zombies. Let's go ahead and shoot him in the back because he's probably trying to go and get some health. Look okay, at that streak. If you do get away from combat, if somebody's shooting at you and take a bit of cover somewhere, then your health will ge regenerate to about half of your normal health. So if I have 125 here, yeah, usually if I get into a firefight, I will get about half of that back. And it is pretty fast re uh, regenerating your health, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, you can get to 100% health again. You need to be uh, friendlies with the uh, sunflowers, and they will heal you. And a lot of people play as sunflowers, so they will heal you quite a few times. Now, um, I was mentioning the game I'm giving away, copy of the game I'm giving away. That's a universal one. It doesn't matter if you're in Australia, Europe, uh, America, or whatever, Antarctica. It doesn't really matter where you're from. It's going to work for you. And the one thing that I really want them to fix as soon as they possibly can, like now, it's the voice in the game. You always start off with the microphones on everybody has his mic on and you have to go out throughout the game and click to mute everybody because that is so annoying that you start off and there's some squeaker there just shouting and screaming i think that's one of the things i most likely would like to see fixed as soon as possible because i don't want to listen to somebody screaming in my ear for 30 seconds and i hope they're going to be uh, patching this with a quick hot fix as soon as possible now that's pretty much it for the video uh, these are my Early, early impressions. Not quite the first impressions yet, but early impressions about the game. Uh, the game's pretty fun. I definitely enjoyed the amount of matches I played. Not yet played all the modes, not yet tried all the characters. I'm still yet to find a lot about the game, but I'll be doing more videos and I'll be talking about more things in the future. I hope you guys have enjoyed the gameplay. I will see you in the next one. Out.